Hello students, today we will learn the topic dividing by tens, hundreds or thousands from chapter 3. Let's start by trying to solve some examples. Look at this example. Divide 45,000 by 30. To make this division easier, let's rewrite this by splitting 30 into 10 and 3. Because 45,000 divided by 10 divided by 3 is same as 45,000 divided by 30. Now, in order to find the quotient of 45,000 and 30, we can first divide 45,000 by 10. If our numbers have zeros in the end, we can use the same type of trick that we have used in multiplying by tens, hundreds and thousands. But here, when we are dividing, instead of adding zeros, we will be removing zeros. So when we divide 45,000 by 10, we can get the quotient by removing one zero from the end of 45,000. So after dividing 45,000 by 10, we get 4,500 as the quotient. Now we can divide 4,500 by 3. After dividing 4,500 by 3, we get 1,500 as the quotient. So 45,000 divided by 30 is 1,500. Now look at this example. Divide 45,000 by 300. We can rewrite this by splitting 300 into 100 and 3. Because 45,000 divided by 100 divided by 3 is same as 45,000 divided by 300. Now in order to find the quotient of 45,000 and 300, we can first divide 45,000 by 100. When a number is divided by 100, we can get the quotient by removing two zeros from the end of the number. So after dividing 45,000 by 100, we get 450 as the quotient, since we have removed two zeros from 45,000. Now we can divide 450 by 3. After dividing 450 by 3, we get 150 as the equation. So 45,000 divided by 300 is 150. Now let's solve this example. Divide 45,000 by 3,000. Here we can rewrite this by splitting 3,000 into 1,003. Because 45,000 divided by 1,000 divided by 3 is same as 45,000 divided by 3,000. Now, in order to find the quotient of 45,000 and 3,000, we can first divide 45,000 by 1,000. When a number is divided by 1,000, we can get the quotient by removing 3 zeros from the end of the number. So after dividing 45,000 by 1,000, we get 45 as the equation because we have removed 3 zeros from 45,000. Now we can divide 45 by 3. 45 divided by 3 is 15. So 45,000 divided by 3,000 is 15. Now let's solve one question from practice 2. Question number 1D. 80,000 divided by 200. Here we can rewrite 80,000 divided by 200 by splitting 200 into 102. Because 80,000 divided by 100 divided by 2 is same as 80,000 divided by 200. Now in order to find the quotient of 80,000 and 200, we can first divide 80,000 by 100. And we know that when a number is divided by 100, we can get the equation by removing two zeros from the end of the number. So after dividing 80,000 by 100, we get 800 as the equation because we have removed two zeros from 80,000. Now we divide 800 by 2. 800 divided by 2 is 
400. So 80,000 divided by 200 is 400. That's all for today. Thank you.